All right, so for this lesson, we are looking in Schoology assignment number six, uh, the vignette masks lesson. And what we're going to learn about is masks today in Photoshop. Now, masks are going to be really important. You're going to use masks every single time you're in Photoshop from here on out. Um, and a mask is basically something that shows or hides a uh, pixel. So you know that if you zoom way in in Photoshop, that uh, Photoshop, you know, every image is just a collection of pixels. You can zoom in and you can see the different pixels, all those different colored squares. Um, and so sometimes you want to hide certain pixels to make them look, um, you know, like they're not, not there anymore. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead. When you open this file, you're going to see you've got two layers. You've got a base layer, which is blue um, layer one, and you've got a photo layer, layer zero. And it's also going to have this extra box next to it. And this is what is called a mask. It's got some black and it's got some white and that's showing what pixels are showing or not. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, select it and then go down to my uh, trash can to delete it. And it's gonna ask if I want to apply the layer mask and I do not, I'm just gonna hit delete. So go ahead and delete the mask and that'll show you your normal photo without any pixels missing. Now, what some people have done previously is if they've wanted to get rid of some pixels, they would have gone to the eraser tool. And hopefully you're gonna realize that that is a problem. And the reason that's a problem is because the eraser tool destroys pixels. Once I've destroyed that and I move on, those pixels are gone. So if I turn off my background, there's no going back. And once I have saved this, if I were to reopen the file, those pixels are trashed forever. So I definitely wanna get rid of those um, that whole mindset of using the eraser tool. That's a bad idea. Uh, instead, what I want to do is I want to go ahead, let me delete this again, is I want to mask. And a mask hides a pixel, but the pixel still exists. So if I look down at my thumbnail, I see the whole photo. It's all there. What I can do, though, is I can mask out these outside edges. So I'm going to take my lasso tool, my third tool down, and I'm just going to draw a rough lasso around this cute little family. Great. So I've got a lasso and that shows what pixels are selected. I want those pixels to show up and I want to get rid of these. Again, I'm not going to erase them though, because that destroys the pixels. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide them under a mask. So if I look over here below my layers panel down at the bottom, I've got lots of options, trash can, new layer, group, uh, adjustments and then this one that looks kind of like a flag it's just a rectangle with a circle on it that's my mask so with this all selected I'm just gonna go ahead and with layer one uh, you know indicated I'm gonna mask this by clicking the button voila so what it's done is it's created a mask now and hidden all those layers now if I look over here the whole photo is still there it's all showing so if I turn my uh, layer mask off and I were to disable the layer mask then it's all still there. If I right click and I enable the layer mask, now they're hidden, um, but I can still adjust that a little bit if I want to. Now, the other thing to note is that you can see by looking at your little layer mask down here, wherever it's white, that means my pixels are showing. Wherever it's black, that means my pixels are hidden. So what's nice is if I've got black and white and in a layer mask, black means showing and, uh, or sorry, black means hidden and white means showing then I can use like a black and white paintbrush to alter what I'm doing. So let's say I get a paintbrush. Let me grab a better paintbrush, a more standard paintbrush, if you will. Something typical. And I'm gonna go in with my white selected and I'm gonna click, make sure I'm clicked on my layer mask. I don't wanna do this on the photo. If I paint white on the photo, oh geez. Let's undo that. Default colors. If I paint white, then it's painting on my picture. That's not good. But if I click on my mask, I can go in and I can paint and I can reveal more pixels. Or I can change my brush to black by clicking on the little switchy arrows. And let's say, Grandpa, you know, uh, there's been some rough stuff going on. And, you know, you're just, you're, 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 bothering the whole family, you're acting really rude to everybody, and we're all mad at you, so you're out of the family. That's kind of harsh, but let's just say you want to revise that for a minute, or you don't like how Grandpa looks and you want to Photoshop in a different photo of Grandpa. You know, we can erase part of the mask, um, and then he's gone. But then we realize, no, even though, you know, that's not the best picture of him, we want to bring him back. So we bring Grandpa back. Look how happy he is to be back. So we bring him back, 
and here's the whole family again. Um, so I can alter my mask by clicking on my mask and using my black and white uh, brush tools, um, and I've got some options with that as well. So uh, once I've done that, you know, that's one, one way to make a mask. I'm going to go ahead and delete that mask, though. So go ahead and delete your mask on yours as well. Delete. Now, I made a selection with a lasso tool. I can make selections lots of other ways. I can go ahead and I could use my, in this case, elliptical marquee tool. So I can go and I can get a really nice, clean tool. And I can use my space bar to reposition it. And let's say there, there's my mask uh, or my selection. And I want to mask that. And again, I go to my mask icon. I add a layer mask. And now I've got this really clean selection. Now, I might like that, but I feel like this is a little too harsh of a line. So if I look above my layers panel, I've got my properties panel. And if it's not on properties, just click where it says properties and you'll see all your options. And I can go ahead and I can change the edge of my mask. So I'm going to go to feather and I'm just going to drag this up a bit. And you can see how it's making this a little blurry, a little, uh, a little different. So I can click that and I can make that pretty pronounced. So the more I drag it, the more feathered it is. Now, too much feathering can be a problem. Uh, so I want to keep it, you know, kind of reasonable, but I can go and that way I can give a nice soft edge to the edge of my mask. Now you might be wondering why it's blue back here. And that's because I have a blue layer. So wherever a black, you know, in my mask is, is obscuring the pixels. So those are invisible now. And you're seeing the blue layer underneath. If I turned off that blue layer, it would just be empty. These are nothing fake pixels. Um, and in theory, then what I could do is I could do all kinds of things. So let's say I wanted to do, um, a different kind of mask, I could use quick select, and I could go in and I could select, you know, grandpa's head. I could mask everything, there's grandpa by himself, and then I could put on a different image. I could put his body on, you know, the Incredible Hulk's body, um, and suddenly he's grandpa and he's the Incredible Hulk. So, you know, I can go ahead and I can mask things out um, and then apply new backgrounds or new layers beneath this in lots of different ways. Ultimately, that's all, that's a lot going on. So again, let's just go back in our history panel to before all that nonsense. And what I'm going to do is have you guys use your lasso tool to make a really nice careful lasso around the family. Um, let's say you can't get all the way around. I can hold down shift and I can add more to my selection. And now it's a bigger selection. Um, and then I can go in, I can mask it. I can feather my edge. Let's feather it at five pixels. And then I've got this really nice selection. Um, and that's it. Also, because they are linked, the mask and the photo will move together. Um, but that's masking. So you're going to use this skill all the time. So make sure you're reviewing this video if you have any further questions. Uh, otherwise, you should be good to go on to the next lesson.